<laughs> ah, ah, it's still happening. <laughs> another screen, Please, another screen someone. faded to black, but it's still You're going. You're shaking. <laughs> Go, someone. Huh? What? What happened to me? Didn't I pass out? Why am I fully aware right now? I can't see a thing, and I can't move. It feels like that feeling you get when you're really tired. Sleep paralysis, I think. Oh, nope, that's just actual, that's just actual tied up paralysis. Ah, ah, <laughs> where, where? Oh, what? she's like showing Oh her. God, you're gonna <clears throat> fucking kill me. Why can't I move? Shucky, Shucky. Sachiko. God, man. It's like my brain Sachiko. is just like fucking keep making that sh sound. Shinazaki. Shinazaki. The little girl in the red dress and the only survivor of the horrific murders that occurred in Heavenly Host Elementary School. Following the incident, Sachiko's family fled from the area, moving to another place. Uh, I skipped that for some reason. Strangely, however, I've been unable to locate any other records of the Shinazaki family. Wait, isn't there one of our friends named Shinazaki? Yeah, the Ayumi. I'm pretty sure it's Shinazaki. Um, oh. No matter where I look, the only information I can find about them comes from newspaper reports on the Heavenly Host murders. Granted, when an elementary school becomes the stage of a grisly incident such as this, perpetrated by none other than the principal's own son, it stands to reason that the scandal would serve as the primary focus for public interest, with all other details fading into the background. So, of course, after learning that Sachiko was safe, further news of her whereabouts was largely ignored in favor of the media circus surrounding the school. But where there's more... But there's more to it than that. People weren't just uninterested in learning of Sachiko's history and whereabouts. There was simply no data to be had. Because she turned into a spooky ghost. The end. Oh shit, we're um, back. <laughs> I can't move my body at all because of sleep paralysis, I guess. <laughs> it's not these bindings. <laughs> I can see clearly the room I'm in now. There's one boy and two girls in here, aside from myself. I recognize them. They're the children who were killed in Heavenly House during the incident, but they're still alive. Unfortunately, they're all bound head to foot, hand and foot, and just sprawled out on the floor. And so am I. Hmm. That's the reason I can't move. No, wait, wait, wait! Ah! Ah! Somebody please save me! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Oh, God! I guess it's my turn up to bat next! Yoshikazu, uh... Oh, 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 ooh. No, no, stop. No, no, please. <laughs> please, no. No, no. I, I, eyes. Arr, Take this. Somebody talking to me. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's a good. That, oh, yeah, you're going to need an eye patch <laughs> after this. No, I can't see. <laughs> Why'd you do that, you bad man? I'm blindfolded. I can't see a thing that's happening to me. And since my hands and feet are tied up, I can't remove the blindfold either. That just makes everything so much worse. I guess because I can't see, I begin to listen more intently. Hmm. The helpless cries of the, the other children echo off the walls of the cramped space. Oh, what? Well. I'm so scared. <laughs> it feels like my head's going to explode. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Why am I blindfolded? I just want to make sure that the blood doesn't get out all over the floor. That would be embarrassing. Untie me! Cut these ropes! I want to be able to use my hands and feet, please. That'd be great, thank you. <laughs> please? <laughs> Dad? Mm, yeah, 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 I'll get to that. I kept begging and pleading, but all I heard in response was the man walking away from me. And, or, there, okay. Mm. In order. Order. Ah, oh, oh, that's probably one of the little kids. Oh, God, Jesus Christ, ah. I sound just like him. 
Did you just stab Fucking me in the shit. stomach with hedge trimmers? <laughs> that's not that's not nice of you to have done that to me. I've never heard screaming like this before. It's pure primal terror cutting through the air like a perfect sine wave. It's the boy at the end. Oh, oh man, ouchie. <laughs> Oof. Uh. It feels like he's been screaming for an eternity. I think he's been killed right now. Hmm. Ah, no, you're still stabbing me. <laughs> Could you stop halfway? That'd be great. Thanks. My God, what the hell is happening to him? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> that fucking hurts you, asshole! <laughs> <laughs> no one deserves this. Why isn't God allowing him to fall unconscious so he doesn't have to suffer? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Was that blood? Did blood just hit me in the <laughs> face? It's been at least half an hour now. Those inhuman screams of a young boy being ripped apart from the inside have finally come to a halt. Damn, 30 minutes, fuck. No, 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 no! Without even a single moment of silence, the first of the girls in line is the next to scream for her life, and the symphony goes on. Well, let's see, there was one, two, uh-oh. <laughs> God, I can't take any more of this. I'm losing my mind. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> stop. Don't do that no more. <laughs> no. Please, uh, you were on number two and I'm <laughs> number three. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still going on? Yeah, that's, what I, that's how I feel. <laughs> Just die already. <laughs> die already? God, what's wrong with me? You know what? I don't care. Just get it over with and leave me in peace. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Finally. After hearing a sound like a heavy object being dropped, the noises stopped and the room grew quiet again. Hmm. Those footsteps are getting closer. And all my hair is standing on end at this point. Everything below my stomach feels like it's frozen. Like I've suddenly been stricken with severe diarrhea? Is that, is that the feeling of diarrhea? <laughs> In order? God, why am I relieved by the silence? The kid next to me just died. Which means it's my turn now. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! <laughs> oh, God. Someone's got me by the hair. They're pulling my head up and taking off my blindfold. Which means I get to see my face of my killer. How polite. The four missing children were found in a basement room at Heavenly Host Elementary School. Unused and officially sealed since the building's construction. The children, that is. <laughs> when authorities entered, they were greeted with an in inhumanely horrific sight. Based upon the evidence at hand, the murder weapon was determined to be a pair of large sewing scissors found in the hand of the hands of the accused. Investigators suspected some humiliations or hesitation. Whoop, I just completely ran that wrong on the man's part. <clears throat> However, as the deceased victim's wounds did not indicate that his full strength had been used. What? How did the wounds fucking whatever? Nonetheless, he had clearly acted with extreme malicious intent. The official cause of death for the three murdered children has been listed as a loss of blood following removal of the tongue. The actual state of affairs was not quite so clinical, nor even so pleasant. <clears throat> the following details have been extrapolated from information previously unreleased to the public, or at least previously unreported by news outlets. These details of the crime are based—I know that's how I feel, dude—are <laughs> based on the official police testimony of Sachiko Shinazaki herself. Evidently, the victims were bound, blindfolded, and spaced out on the floor, then killed one by one. One was repeatedly stabbed in the abdomen with the aforementioned pair of scissors, then had many of her his internal organs forcefully dug out. His discarded innards were found partially buried beneath the earthen floor of the basement room. Wait, but he died of his tongue being cut out. That's what he died from. Yeah, yeah, they, they cut out the tongue and he bled death. That definitely wasn't all the bleeding from having, <laughs> from having been cut open and your entrails pulled out. No, 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 it was the tongue, though. <laughs> 
Another was stabbed in the head dozens of, and dozens of times, to such an extent that all flesh and bone above the jawline was essentially minced away. With my blind if my blindfold removed, I'll be able to see. The sight that appeared before me was more horrific than anything I could have possibly imagined. The person staring back at me, brandishing a blood-soaked pair of sewing scissors, wasn't the large man from earlier at all. It was one of the children. Oh. It was a little girl, her face dyed red with the blood of the victims. The girl in the red dress! She was staring intently at me, with soulless grey eyes, and then... She just started giggling. Snip, snap, snip, snap. Ah, oh, that's not me. Oh. <laughs> he was opening and closing the bloody scissors over and over again. The sound kept echoing through the room. Mm. Then she took those dull, rusty, thoroughly blood soaked blades and, there, and slowly put them closer and closer to my left eye. <coughs> God, why, why is this my voice if I'm a teacher? <laughs> How? Why? Why is it you? <laughs> no, 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 bad. <laughs> bad, Sachiko! Ooh! <laughs> ah, you bitch! You got me good, you did. Oh, fuck. You got me right in the eye. Uh. <clears throat> the third victim was stabbed in the left eye an indeterminate number of times. Until her eye became soup-like in consistency, she was eventually just left like that, slowly bleeding to death in horrible agony. Strangely, it was only after these mutilations that had already been inflicted that the killer went back and severed the victim's tongues. Learning the truth about these proceedings is shocked, shocking even to me, and makes it nearly impossible to accept the murderer as anything but a monster. And bearing witness to every moment of this w was a seven-year-old girl named Sachiko. In many ways, she's the most pitiable and long-suffering of them all. But it was through her tearful, frightened testimony that Yoshikazu Yanagihori. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Yanagihori? Yeah, fuck that. Anyway, <clears throat> was officially charged. Now, going back to the hunt for information on this unfortunate girl's whereabouts, it was her words that ultimately led Yoshikazu's sentencing. Therefore, it comes as no real surprise that sensitive information pertaining to her and her family would be withheld. That's to be expected. What's not expected, however, is that there's not even the slightest trace of this information left to find. It's as if it simply never existed. Therefore, I cannot help but consider alternate possibility, possible explanations, and I remind you, this is more conjecture. But one question keeps nagging at in the back of my mind. Was Yoshikazu really the murderer of the three victims, or was it the little girl at the end? <laughs> is it possible this crime was not actually perpetrated by him at all? Think about it. In his final days, uh, Yoshikazu was in, <clears throat> incapable of communicating with others through speech. And despite his childlike reversion, he'd always been a personable and friendly man. As to say, as the saying goes, he wouldn't have hurt a fly. And his relatives, friends, and neighbors confirmed as much, shocked to hear that such a kindly man would could commit such unconscionable, unconscionable atrocities. No, my other computer is blinking at me. That's why I was like, uh, "What the oh, fuck?" Okay. Uh, he certainly had no motive for the crime either. There was nothing for him to gain from it. Then again, he may simply have lost his mind. Look at his father. I'm so I laid know, back, dude. dude. This is fucking I'm like, like horizontal right now. <laughs> it was around this time that the principal of Takamini, uh, Yanagahori, uh, suddenly began speaking in tongues and acting in a most peculiar way. Not to mention scribbling incomprehensibly gibberish all over his walls as if possessed. He seemed frightened of someone and would often be found crouching in the corner of his office, moaning and thrashing when visitors came by. If he could wind up in such a beleaguered... beleaguered state? 
What yeah, the totally fuck agree. is that word? I've never seen that in my life state. But no warning. <laughs> then perhaps so too could his son. Beleaguered means like worn down, like completely fucking just beleaguered. Broken down over time. Uh -huh. I believe that that we're looking at a curse far more powerful than anything man could devise. From the time it opened its doors to the day it closed them forever. Heavenly Host Elementary School sealed basement room has existed as some form of cursed ground. And to find the underlying cause, we must go back beyond the infamous kidnappings and murder incident. Back a whole 20 years. I believe I may have found a clue that could shed some light on the situation. It may be a bit far-fetched as leads go, but it may, but it is a lead nonetheless. Regrettably, since Heavenly Host is not only closed, but demolished altogether and another school built in its place it's no longer possible to investigate the basement room directly but my protege that is right protege prote yeah. yeah protege has found uh, <clears throat> what may be the next best thing something that could be impossible be, make the impossible possible once more perpetrations are being made to pursue this lead Shoot even now the unshootable, fight uh, be, the unfightable, <clears throat> be bro, sure not to bro, miss the next bro, installment it may be the scoop of a lifetime i always pick the time uh cow kabiki okay cool i always pick like to go to the fucking regular reading voice like right as it's ending like, i'm like i'm so fucking tired Okay, continued in chapter five. There we go. Are you that was a really, me? really, really fucking long goddamn cutscene. It said in the walkthrough that it was gonna be long. I didn't expect it to be that fucking long. <laughs> Holy shit. Was that the end of the game? Did we beat nope. the game? We got one more chapter. Oh, you fuck yeah, dude. Oh, I'm so glad we're done. Dude, it oh, was the man. girl in the red dress the whole time, though. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that good news for the teacher? Part. You said you said to me, Pat, that we were almost done, and I thought you meant with the game, and I got excited. <clears throat> and now, yeah. I sat here, <laughs> fucking dick in my head. I was fucking ready for an ending. Wait, is there supposed to be voice acting for this? I think you turned off the voice acting at the beginning, didn't you? Did I? I think you did, yeah. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that could have changed Ooh. things quite a bit. Mm. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Well, now we know who could have actually done, or who actually did these voices, and probably did a halfway decent job. Ah, what well. do you mean, Pat? <clears throat> what possibly could you have meant by that comment, Pat? Just, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, dude. <laughs> oh, man. So that's it. That's, uh, that's Course 40, Chapter Fight 4. Me. Uh, Team nice Gree Gree. I can't believe you called them cow at the end. Cow? Who? You said cow. Who? <laughs> Wait, I did? Who? Who did I call cow? Co. Oh, was it, was it K O U? Uh, uh, uh huh. I thought that's cow. Whatever. <laughs> the point is, should have had voice acting on this whole time. Next time, <laughs> we're gonna. No, we're not gonna nope, fucking turn voice not... acting on now. Is it? Is it really on? Uh oh. Yeah. Uh. We did that at the uh, beginning. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we made together. <laughs>